Hello everyone and welcome to the very first Everton show of a brand new season from, as you can see, a brand new studio here at Goodison Park. It's already been a terrific summer, hasn't it, for Everton so far on and off the pitch. We've got a plethora of new signings, exciting signings at that, and we broke new ground with our visit to Tanzania in July. Joining me for the first show of the campaign is one of our regulars, the Diamond. Welcome back, Graham. Yes. And a new signing of our own, who I'm sure will be a good one, Alan Irvine. Very welcome to you, Alan, for your first Thank Everton you. show. I just mentioned there about the new signings, and they are quality players, but as a former manager and coach yourself, you know that it's timing as well, isn't it? You have to get the players in at the right time, if you can. Yeah, uh, ideally the sooner the better. I think every manager would want to start with his new squad on the very first day of pre-season. That's almost impossible to do, but the more players you can have in as early as possible in pre-season, the better. Um, clearly, pre seasons a time when the games are, are, are games that you can try things in and it gives you that opportunity to, to work with different shapes, with different systems, with different styles of play and, and gives new players the, the chance to kind of bed in before it comes to the really important part of the, uh, the actual season and, and the competitive games. It doesn't happen overnight, Graeme, as you know, but the signs are there already, aren't they? Yeah, they're there. Um... As Alan mentioned, they're vitally important, in my opinion, to get the players in as early as possible uh, for exactly the reasons Alan's already touched on. But, you know, they, they feel a level of comfort as well. They've got a, a brand new dressing room to walk into. So if they've got three or four weeks before the, the biz, biz, business end of it comes into play, you know, they, that's, it's better for them, helps them settle down. And uh, I'm sure we'll get the uh, benefits in the next few weeks. And as Diamond will confirm, the new boys seem to be good lads as well. And you know as well as anybody, at this football club, we do like to get the right character as well as the right footballer. Vitally important anywhere. I think even more important at a club like this where you know the culture is one of uh, hard work, of uh, teamwork, of people making sure that they, they, they pull together, um, of making sure that there's a real honesty about uh, the way that everybody goes about their jobs. and. Uh, if you have the wrong characters, then those kind of things break down. And, and it's always been important at this club and, and hopefully will always be important. And, and so uh, I, I think that when Ronald was looking to bring in new players, one of the biggest things he would have had to, to delve into would have been the mentality and the character of the, the players that he was bringing. One of those big characters, of course, is Wayne Rooney. We've got an exclusive interview with Wayne from Finch Farm coming up very shortly. But as I mentioned at the top of the programme, Everton Football Club broke new ground in the summer when we became the first Premier League side to visit Tanzania. Here's a quick roundup of just how we got on. Wayne Rooney. Rooney has a little look up. Goes for goal oh, and scores a fantastic goal. And Wayne Rooney is back. 34 minutes into his new Everton career, Wayne Rooney finds the back of the net. Remember the name. <laughs> Remember the name. No one's forgotten it, Darren. Tom Davis. Everton deserve a winning goal. Good turn by Kieran Dow. Is it going to come from Kieran oh, Dow? Kieran, is it just? What a fantastic goal. He hit the crossbar a few moments ago. He got it absolutely spot on with his left foot on that occasion. And if that's the winner, it deserves to be. It was a fantastic trip, wasn't it? A very quick trip, but a, a wonderful experience. It was. I mean, I'd never been out to Tanzania before, so, you know, for, for all of us as a, as a group of people to go out and represent Everton Football Club was groundbreaking, really. Uh, and all the lads, 
you know, they mixed in really well. They got in, in into the spirit of everything that was put on from us. It was a magnificent welcome from all the Tanzanian people. But most important of all, there was a job to do, and that's to play a game against Gorma here. We won it 2-1, and uh, our big new stellar signing <laughs> of the season opened his account with a fantastic goal, didn't he? Pure Wayne Rooney, that, wasn't it? Yeah, um, Wayne has been a special player since he was a kid. Um, I was fortunate enough to be here at the time when he, he broke through. Um, but I remember him going back beyond that um, when, uh, when he was actually playing for, I think it would have been the under-17 team, but he was about 14 years old at the time. And he, I was, I was uh, in charge of Newcastle at that particular time and Peter Ramage was playing centre-half and, and Wayne gave him a really hard time. Um, we had a good side at that time at Newcastle and uh, Wayne made us uh, actually have to probably work harder for a for a good result than, than anybody else had done all the way through. And you know, for a for a lad to come straight out of school, which is what he did when when I was here with David, um, and walk straight into first team training and not be out of place was just something that doesn't happen. Um, he was an exceptional talent, and he was a man way before his his time. Um, the big thing that I always wondered about with Wayne was would he still be breaking records when he was 26 and yeah he was still breaking records when he was 26 so he's he's had a fantastic career and and I think he's he's uh, he's done extremely well to manage the pressures that he's been under um, all the way through from being a young player. Alan you mentioned you know knowing him as a young player growing up did you, you and yourself and David have to think about the impact it would have on the senior players you were going to have to leave out to accommodate this young man bursting onto the scene? Well, you would think that that might be a problem, but he was so good um, in terms of the way that he came into the training environment and then the way that he fitted in when he started to make his uh, first appearances that none of the senior players would have complained about him being mm. in the team. Um, they just accepted him as another really good player in our squad. And um, at the beginning, he wasn't ready to play week in and week out, but he was certainly ready to, to make an impact. And, and he very quickly became an extremely important player. And, and you know, nobody cares within a football squad about right. the, the age of a player or where he comes from or what his beliefs are. If he's a really good player, everybody just accepts that he's a really good player and they want him in the team. Yeah. And, and Wayne was good enough to be in the team, simple as that. And he's still a class act and we're all delighted to have Wayne Rooney back. The boy himself, he sat down with the Everton show earlier this week at Finch Farm. Yeah, it's been good. Um, really enjoyed the, um, some good games for us during the pre-season. Obviously the two competitive ones in the Europa League, but um, thankfully we're through in that to the next knockout stage. But I think um, the game, the training is, is obviously what we've needed. It's gone well and um, we're ready now for the first game of the season. Have you sensed what it's meant to Evertonians, you coming back to the club? Have you felt kind of how special it is for them? Yeah, the Everton fans have been brilliant. Um, the reception they've given me, um, especially obviously the games at Goodison, has been fantastic. And it, um, it's great, obviously, for me to, to go back there to Goodison and play in front of the home fans. And um, obviously, the whole stadium hasn't been open yet. so. I'm sure the atmosphere on Saturday will be great and um, just looking forward to it and um, we know we've got a tough start in terms of the fixtures we've been given to the start of the season so Saturday is an important game and um, a game which um, will get us off to a great start with three points. What's it been like for your family and friends seeing you back in an Everton shirt? Yeah they're all made up I think um, everyone obviously supported me um, when I, I went to United and um, but now they can support me and the team, so um, I think everyone's delighted that I've come back. But um, again, I've come back for reasons to try and win things um, with Everton and um, not for, to, for how people feel and whether they're happy I've come back or not, I've come to try and help win. I think it was great for Everton fans when you, when you came back that obviously you've been so successful at Manchester United, but it showed that um, you, know, you still have a deep love for the club. And it goes to show what, just what this club has meant to you throughout your life, basically. Yes, you know, as a as a baby all through me me life growing up, obviously I was an Everton fan, and um, that's not changed. I think obviously in football now it, it it is more like a job, 
and yeah. um, sometimes you you move on to different things and which which I done and um, but in terms of a fan, you know, I've always you know wanted Evan to do well, always being a, a fan of Everton Football Club, and that's never changed. So um, obviously, once the opportunity arises to to come back here, I was delighted. Plenty more to come from that exclusive interview with Wayne Rooney in part two. We're going to take a short break right now. When we come back, we'll hear from Michael Keane, a bit more from Wayne, as I say, and also from Davy Classen. Welcome back to part two of the first Everton show of a brand new season. And that brand new season kicks off on Saturday afternoon, of course. Stoke City at Goodison Park. All first games are tough games, and especially when it's against the likes of Stoke City, Alan. Yeah, yeah, you're never quite sure uh, how the first uh, game or two are going to go. There's, there's no form for anybody to uh, to assess the game on. It's difficult as well when you're preparing um, to play against Stoke to know exactly what team they're likely to put out because they'll have tried things during pre-season just like Everton will have done. Um, but it's it's not a bad game. The, the games that I never wanted as the opening game of the season was a newly promoted team away from home. That was always uh, extremely difficult. Stoke are an established team. There isn't that real excitement, that burst of adrenaline that a new club coming up would get. So uh, I, I think it's a good opening game. Um, I'm, I think being at home is again good. Um, I, I was always happy to, to have the first game at home. It will be difficult, there's no question about it. Stoke will be a good side. I would expect them to, to be a mid-table side, top half maybe. But uh, it's the type of game that Everton have, have got to get off to a good start in. Well, Goodison Park will be ready, we are assured. I'm sure you can hear <laughs> and see a little bit of the construction work that's still going on at Goodison Park. But when this place is packed on the opening day of the new season, surely the sun will be shining some atmosphere. Well, the sun normally shines, doesn't it? Opening day of the season, much of the players discuss, to be honest <laughs> with you, when it's 25 degrees and what have you. But no, it's going to be a magnificent atmosphere here when everything's ready. Um, it always is at Goodison Park. There's an expectancy about the place that players, you have to deal with it. It's as simple as that. You cross that white line at three o'clock, you've done all your preparation in pre-season with a view to making sure at three o'clock you're at your optimum to go out, start the game well. It's always vitally important, especially here at Goodison Park, to get the crowd on your side in that opening 10 minutes, get some crosses in, get some shots on target if we can, work the goalkeeper, get the crowd up and expectant. And I think that's half the battle here. Well, we obviously haven't got a clue what team Ronald Koeman will pick on Saturday afternoon, but it's a fairly safe bet that Michael Keane will be in it. The big defender is looking forward to his Goodison Park Premier League debut. Is it hard on an opening day to know exactly what to expect from opposition teams? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Um, like you say, with new signings coming in, new systems that teams will play in pre-season, you don't know which one they're going to play. Um, so you sort of just got to do as much preparation as you can, but also wait till you see the team, see how they line up on the pitch, and um, you prepare as well as you can, but obviously the first week is uh, a bit more difficult than, uh, than the others, really. At Burnley, it was uh, always playing in a straight four with a bank of four in front of you, so... Um, the fact that I've already played in a four, in a three, or five, whatever you want to call it, there's different styles of playing and um, it's just getting used to them and being able to switch from one to the other uh, whenever you please. So um, I feel like I've done it well so far, but obviously they're still improving to be done. Michael Keane really has hit the ground running at Everton Football Club and we always thought he would. He's a class act, Alan. Very good player. Uh, I remember him from being a young player at Manchester United. Saw a lot of him when he was at Burnley in the Championship. And uh, I think he's, he's developed really, really well in the last couple of years. And, and I think he will step on again coming here. I think it, that he could turn out to be a, a fantastic signing for a very long time for Everton. You look at the spine of a side, Alan, you know yourself, you want a nice, strong spine. How important do you think it is for us to have bought in and out and out number one goalkeeper in Jordan Pickford? Uh, well, again, a player that I've, I've known from being a young player. I was, uh, was with, the, with the England under-17 team when Jordan was in that and he looked a good young goalkeeper then. I saw a lot of him when he was at Preston and he was outstanding for Preston and they were desperate to kind of keep him longer than they were able to keep him. And of course he went back to Sunderland, got in the team, did extremely well and he's, he's been uh, making very quick progress bearing in mind goalkeepers quite often come later. Uh, I think, again, a fantastic signing. I think those two are, are really uh, important players for Everton this season. Jordan Pickford could be here a long, long time, Alan, couldn't he? And, of course, you played with the great Neville Southall. 
Yes, yeah, now if he gets anywhere near Nev, then he's uh, going to be an outstanding mm. goalkeeper, that's for sure, because uh, Nev's probably the best that I've played with or worked with. Um, but uh, Jordan Pickford's got a lot of potential and, and, as you say, could be here for a very, very long time. Well, Michael Keane will probably be in the side, so probably will Jordan Pickford, and we would imagine that Wayne Rooney will also play. Let's hear a little bit more from him. The manager and a lot of your teammates, when you sign, said about the responsibility you can have, the influence. Do you feel that amongst the squad that, that they kind of look at you with, with everything you've won in the game? Um, yeah, you feel it, but obviously I have to, I have to concentrate on on playing and, and training. And um, of course, there's things where you can help, you know, especially the younger players with. Um, there's little things you can do to help them, but. Um, I have to just keep doing what you know. Um, I, I I can do best in training, and hopefully that will help me in the games and um, try and set a good example for the other players. I see off the pitch as well. You've been they've been all around you. So see some magic tricks. You've been you like doing that. With <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've been doing a few um, a few tricks, and um, it's really just obviously past time, and um, it's good, obviously. Um, to play a few tricks on a few lads and there's some who get them and some are still a bit um, mystified by them so um, hopefully that will continue. Do you feel a bit like Dynamo at the minute when you're battling them? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think um, obviously it's just past time really and especially on the flights um, if you can't sleep um, do a bit to pass their time. Finally just on to, to Stoke, how important is it to, to get off to a good start with all the tough fixtures? following as well? Yeah, it is important. I think um, we know it's going to be a tough game. Stoke can never be an easy game and um, you know we're, we're preparing for that and we'll be ready come Saturday for for that game and it, again when you start the season with a win it, it gives you gives the squad that, that extra bit of confidence. That was Wayne Rooney there speaking to the Everton show down at Finch Farm. Now we've got a new feature for you for this new season. We simply call it My First. And rather than go through the whys and wherefores and explain the rules, let's hear from Davy Classen. It wasn't my dad, he was uh, the keeper of the, of the first team and then I went to, to watch a game with my mom and then he saved the penalty and I thought, okay, this man is the best keeper in the world. And that's, that's the first thing, uh, yeah, first memory of football, I think. It was, it was my dad, it was uh, when I was, I think, four or five. And I went to Ajax, it was, uh, I guess, Fortuna set out 5-0, I think. It was a night game and, yeah, I thought, okay, the stadium is so big and we were just on top on the second ring and uh, that was awesome. I like to watch Burkamp, Dennis Burkamp and I also played a striker, shadow striker when I was young and he was at the same position and when I was young he was playing for Arsenal and then at the Saturday I watched the, the Premier League and then I always saw him yeah, doing the magical things and I really liked that. Yeah, that was my first uh, first league game in Holland and I came in and I scored after I think 40, 42 seconds and yeah, I think that was one of the best feelings of my life. Oh, we never had pets. Oh, we had one goldfish. A goldfish, yeah, but doesn't live, didn't live uh, very long. He likes to laugh, Davy Klassen, and he's settled in well on and off the pitch. Great. Yeah, he seems to have, yeah, really settled in nicely. I, I, you know, sitting on the plane for nine and a half hours to Tanzania, etc. The interaction you can see between the players, and Davy was in the forefront of that, so clearly he's settled down very, very well. Well, we've got you on the Everton show, Alan. What are you up to these days? Uh, I'm playing a lot of golf and a lot of tennis at this particular moment, <laughs> but... Uh, um, you looking I'm to get just... back into the game? Yeah. Yeah, as, as a manager, I've, uh, I've had three offers of jobs, but not as a manager. And uh, 
I'm just going to wait for the moment and just see if uh, something that I, f I fancy comes up. And in the meantime, try and improve my second serve and uh, my golf handicap, <laughs> which uh, which need a bit of work, I have to say. Uh, we finished seventh last season. Based on the players that we've talked about coming in to the football club, what do you think represents a successful season for us this year? I think it's extremely difficult nowadays. Um, when, when David and I were here, um, there was a big four. Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham and Man City are now added to that and I'm talking about a big four in terms of wealth. Um, obviously Everton have, uh, have spent good money this year and uh, you know, I hope that, that the players that have been bought, who I think are good signings, but, but it's just whether they all gel and whether it all works or not. I think uh, it will be extremely difficult to break into the, the top four. Um, I would expect Everton to, to certainly be having a go for that, um, but uh, uh, it will be a very, very interesting season and some of, some of the clubs who think that they should be in that top four are going to find themselves out of it. It will be an interesting season. It all starts on Saturday and we can't wait for it to begin. And that just about wraps up our first Everton show of the 2017-18 campaign. My thanks as always to the Diamond, we'll see him again in a couple of weeks and thanks very much to Alan Irvine we'll have him back on that's for sure before the season is out thanks for joining us this week please do join us in seven days time for the second Everton show of the new season